Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome to Planet Crafter 1.0. Oh, so exciting. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but there's a lot of stuff missing from my base. <laughs> We're looking over there at one of the new biomes and way over there is a couple more of them. Absolutely stunning. Slight little problem. I was able to get my uh, portal out, but I was not able to get to my launch platform or any of the um, storage for the portal. So I don't have any of my <laughs> don't have any of my quartz but I can go get some of it in one of the new biomes uh, oh we need to go downstairs first uh, let's see what we can do um, we have a couple of new chips here uh, t3 torch t3 uh, blueprint pinning chip and t3 deconstruction chip We'll come over here and new animations, as we just saw. Deconstruction. I don't know if I can get Blazar. Pretty sure I can get Magnetar, though. Uh, light, we can make solar chip, or solar quartz. Let's see here. Um, I just need to remember kind of where those different things are that I don't ever access. I wonder if I can just make it here. Possibly. Here we go. We need a couple of those. I don't remember how many it was. Uh, let's see what else we need. Uh, nope, not that one. We can make that. So now we have a T3 light. It's more of a wide beam light, I think. That might be better. And then, um, uh, yeah, I never used the um, pinning chip, but there's a new pinning chip there. So we got the light. That we need to go look for. Now then, how about the backpack? That is over here. There is now, yep, we need to go look for that stuff, and we need to go look for that stuff, no problem. Okay, we don't need to take a solar chip, or a solar quartz with us, though. So I'm going to put that in excessive amounts of everything. Did I put the chip away? I did. Oh boy. We'll just go over there to the launch platform, because it's kind of funny. And zoop! We get zooped out. I can get to this. This is all working. As you can see, I just earned Terra tokens. So it's all... <laughs> Here comes my rocket. It's just going to go ahead and land down there. I can't put a stop to it. The only thing I can do is stop making pulsar cords. <laughs> That's the only way to stop that from happening. <laughs> That's the way it goes. <laughs> Upsy daisy. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, multiplayer we're going to be looking at tonight with Moose Gaming. Hopefully tonight. We always plan on a live stream. We don't always control YouTube very well. And let's see. Was there anything else in there immediately? No. But uh, we can go uh, see if we can get some of these other quartzes. Oh boy. In one of the new biomes. Let's see, what else do we have uh, while we are going over to the Lush biome? Uh, three new biomes, new lore and endgame content, new character animations, new cinematic introduction, new music, all new music, lots and lots, 20 new exclusive music tracks, quality of life and performance stuff. I'm just going to grab a sip if I can. Come on. I still have that problem. Uh, what's in there? Uh, just the regular boo you fish. There's this thing. This, this area does grow its own stuff apparently now. Oh boy, oh boy. Upsy daisy. 
There we go. <laughs> we just we just need to get past here. Up, uh, up, up. Don't run into the trees. <laughs> up we go. All right, let's see. Oh dear. <laughs> let's let's uh, take that out of there if I can. There's there's something inside. I can't take it out of there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> There might be some of these quartzes I need might be in some of these new boxes. All right. <laughs> I'm giggling because uh, I think it's the first time I've ever lost part of one of my bases in uh, a Planet Crafter update. And it's kind of funny. Uh, that's not a new box. That's just still there. This one might be new. Nope. All right, there's the ancient city. And if we come down here. That's why I said down, was to remind myself I need to go down a little bit. Yep, it's past this. These new uh, rocks are pretty cool. They look an awful lot more like that they were laid down by lava. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's see if we can get some of the quartz we need. We do not need pulsar quartz. Although, I wonder if I, yeah, if I maybe should go that way. Ooh! There is a little bit of quartz. Oh, I can't, I don't fit in that hole. <laughs> All right, and uh, that is, that's a magnetar, and that's a magnetar. So we'll just grab like a few of these. I don't, I don't think we needed very many. We do need blazar though. And I was thinking this would be blazar. So this is like super helpful. Nope, there's no blazar in there. Why is it I can only go through there one way? <laughs> oh, let's see. I haven't done much of this. Is this going to be blazar? There we go. I was really worried because <laughs> the everything, everything is lost. <laughs> All right, now we can fix all of our stuff. But I wanted to look in some of the boxes in here. Because, oh, I just, I mean, we just found a good reason to look in some of the boxes in here. But I don't want to go through the whole cave this way. Um, I mean, we don't really need rockets. We don't need any of this stuff. <laughs> Hey, what's that? Oh, iron. <laughs> it's kind of rare when you get this far into a save. Look at this. Just I'm just taking you through here and showing you the briefest look of what this is going to look like uh, when it all matures for us. And grabbing some genetic material while I'm here. Because, <laughs> huh. you know... We need a woofer. <laughs> I don't know what kind of animal we're going to be able to create, but, you know, a woofer would be nice. There we go. Upsy daisy. That's the top part of the caves, so you can actually come out up there. I haven't found any new gold chests, and uh, so far there's only one uh, chest that I haven't been able to find. And that's the one that's on the beach. And you know, I'm not incredibly good at finding it in the first place. <laughs> so we're going to uh, stuff away all of this genetic material. I was just came out here for the quartz so that I can improve stuff. This might be the grasslands right here. And then uh, the crystal cave was down there. We were just in there. 
and uh, what was the name of the other biome? I can't remember now. It was probably important. <laughs> but we'll just go through the teleporters and take a look around. <clears throat> After I get my uh, jetpack upgraded and my backpack upgraded, because I ultimately I really want to know how much backpack space I have. <laughs> There's trees and vines and stuff growing in the maze. And uh, I don't think I have a teleporter in there, but we can take a peek through here. We can just take a little peek at it. We'll get to see it all when it all grows up. It's pretty cool. I've been around most of the rest of the map. Uh, there's also um, waterfalls, just amazing, amazing waterfalls um, out by the ocean. I don't want to ruin it for, for the experience for, for anybody. I just, uh, you know. Okay, so I also need a circuit board and obsidian. Uh, obsidian. Um, uh, excessive amounts of stuff. Will that all fit? <clears throat> it did. And a circuit board. That's the name of that uh, box. Excessive amounts of stuff. And there is our new T6 backpack. Ooh. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times five is 45 slots. And uh, we also have a jetpack. We need an explosive obsidian and iridium. Uh, oops, I added more. Uh, oh, there's solar quartz right there. I added more um, of these everywhere. And uh, <laughs> so that I could increase the amount of storage that I have. And uh, oh, that's super alloy. There we go. Um, and I keep missing what I'm looking for. And T3 jetpack. I'm not sure. But it allows you to fly in the air and increases displace, uh, displacement speed. That says the same thing, but it's propulsion plus 220. So it's plus 30 more. And I think we should grab some water. Oops. Uh, I'm sure there's water everywhere we're going. Just about. But let's do it. Let's do the thing. Uh, lava zone. Zeolite. Super alloy. Uranium. Iridium. Plateau. Alright. Now, I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure the lake is a little bit smaller. And the reason why I say that is because there's a huge, uh, oh, we can really fly. Uh, there's a huge cliff over there with a flat area that I think you can probably build on uh, if you don't mind it angling down all the way. <laughs> the forest is uh, quite a bit thicker, but you can see the maze from the other side now. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Very cool. Our, our humble little beginnings. What am I stuck on? For goodness sake. Um, warp gate. Alright, here we are at the warp gate. You can see that cliff comes all the way in. And our, um, our, uh, the drills are barely on this side. In fact, one of them is buried in there. <laughs> we'll put it over here. <laughs> here we go. I think it's still in range. Uh, where is the machine optimizer? Oh, there it is. We'll just, like, move that. Oh after I take out all the pressure stuff. We'll just move it over here a little ways. Oh, we're having a storm. 
a blue storm. There we go. <laughs> Alright, wow, we can just like really fly with this. Oh dear. <laughs> Look out for that. <laughs> it's a good thing I wasn't standing over there at the time. Dang! I just need to keep on moving. Keep on keeping on. Uh, I don't think we need frog eggs, but we might. Let's grab them. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. It went over there. <laughs> we do have a building to hide in if we need to. I don't know what these destruction T3 is for. Alright, but I did want to see this. Is it for that? No? How about chairs? No? There's something inside this box. Of course there is. They don't tell you what it's for. <laughs> I don't think they do anyway. D3. Allows you to deconstruct advanced items in wrecks. Alright. Maybe that's for procedural wrecks. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's go. Uh, let's see here. Launch platform we can't get to uh, aluminum, the mushroom cave. So glad I didn't build this down there in the mushroom cave. <laughs> I don't think anything is gonna be different in here. All of my boxes are still in place. There's a box I never saw. How lucky. <laughs> that might be a new box. <laughs> Ooh, cool. <laughs> I honestly don't know how to find any of these uh, genetic material, genetic trait stuff naturally in the environment. The only way I know how to do it is uh, by finding it in boxes. All right. And one of the few ones I haven't checked on, it's still here. Nothing new in there. And I've been somewhat down there a little ways. Any box that I've already opened is not going to have anything new in it, so that's cool. Alright. Finally, we will go out to the beach. As soon as I find the exit. <laughs> there we go. It's always promising when you find your own boxes. That's so funny about the about the trade rockets. <laughs> I'm gonna have to build a trade platform just so that I can buy stuff. <laughs> I'll get around to that. We're gonna start a new save starting tomorrow. And, uh, oh boy, I need to get as much stuff done as I can so that I can go to sleep. <laughs> hey, there's some more. A Volnus plant inside of a crate and an Orima. We'll take the Lerma. I don't think I'm shy on it, but, uh, oh boy, this part, the whole, the whole crater is so amazing. And, it, uh, wait till we get over the hill. Look at that. So we had the original cenote, which is right there. And then we have this. Let's go. This is like the Le Piste de la Resistance. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. I was up very late yakking with everyone. And here we go. This is so nice. I have flown through all of this. I haven't found a gold crate yet. It doesn't mean it's not there. It just means that I haven't found it. It might be up there. This is so nice. 
Look at how hard they worked. Look at what a great job they did. And we got a Fioriente naturally occurring. Very cool. I was here earlier today, so that might be that might be a thing. I just need to open my inventory so I can look at the clock. I'm not sure what the orange uh, frog is. I guess we'll just go down there. Look at these pools. What is the... Oh, that's... Oh, it is an orange frog. Okay. Uh, do I know that frog? I think so. It's not a lava frog, exactly. You're cute. Oh, look at you. I didn't see uh, teeny tiny golden frogs. <laughs> Not definitely not lacking for the uh, starting genetic traits for the animals. Definitely don't feel like I'm lacking in that. Although I don't know 100% what I need yet because you know I haven't uh, built any of the machines. Look at this Arima flower is just sitting in crates like it's nobody's business. Really, really is nobody's business. Okay, more frogs. Look at all the different kinds. Uh, that's a regular frog. All the different kinds. There's a zeolite frog and a legless frog. And did you just stick your tongue out at me? Dang it! The sun went down. And here we are out in the ocean. And uh, you can't see anything. Yeah, that still doesn't work at distance. <laughs> Just get a little bit of height there. This is the best of them all. The uh, don't worry about those uh, crystal caves. They they you do not get lost in them. And just like with any caves, you know, bring oxygen or have uh, an oxygen environment. Now I came over here. Oh, there's these new things too. Oops. Uh, corals. These corals and stuff. Am I supposed to use that on that? No? Okay. Fishes. <laughs> there's fish and coral and algae in the ocean. Okay, I came up here. There we go. That's better. I came up here looking for the golden chest and let's see that's too far forward I wish I had uh, oh I did pick up the flower from it didn't I I think that's all that I did though I did look out there a little bit but I thought it was on the island with the big tree I'm sure we found it before but I don't see it now it doesn't mean it's not here it's only my second walkthrough of this area. So there's only one missing that I can see. We'll grab that. That's an amido, actually. I forgot about these beach frogs. Uh, the beach biome also has its own frog, and I completely forgot about it. And I actually made an amido frog. That's a generic one, though. There should be one more amido frog, but uh, I don't know exactly where it is. It might be out there. That might also be where the gold chest is, but I thought that was the big tree. Let's look really quickly. Uh, it's not here. <laughs> Quick enough for you. <laughs> I think it's underneath these. If it, if this is the right island, that is a bigger tree. Then it might be underneath those rocks. Sneaky bubberflies. Stop that. Stop being cute. <laughs> uh, I've looked a couple of times, but if you guys see it, you let me know. Onward we go. Uh, 
It just makes me giggle. The, the rocket's still working even though I can't access them or change anything about them. The, the only thing that I can do is build a new rocket and a new launch platform. <laughs> And uh, I think up, I don't even know where I'm going to do it. Probably out by the warp gate. I'm thinking that's the most open space I have. Oops. A little bit jagged there. I think I already came out and got the frog that's out here. I don't remember exactly where it was. Was it on the beach? just yelled at Lee for flying too close to the lava yesterday because <laughs> it scared me it's like he intentionally goes super close to the lava <laughs> uh, there's a box I've never seen obviously there we go uh, the only thing I don't have in there is the genetic traits Upsie daisy uh, yeah I got it it's, yeah definitely got that one all right and I put an actual um, teleporter down in the cave uh oh incoming <laughs> oh man god don't hit me don't hit me don't hit me here we go. <laughs> it's a, it's a uh, super alloy storm. Let's see if it can catch up to us over here. I don't know. It was pretty far away. You can see it over there. Just barely. All right. I have a lot of stuff to rebuild. It is coming this way, but I don't think the storm's gonna last that long. Looks like it's making it into the plateau. All right. <laughs> These crazy storms. Uh, I need a new case just for genetic material. Oh, there's one. We'll put it in there. No, those don't go in there. Uh, generic frogs, amido frogs. I'm gonna need another one for quartz. Excessive amounts of stuff. There we go. And we'll call that, uh, oops, uh, genetic material. And, uh, then there was, uh, some other things. We got the light. Did we make that? Nope. There's the deconstruction T3. That's why it didn't work. <laughs> Maybe it'll work now. <laughs> let's, just, let's just step inside of a wreck and see if we can destroy anything else now. Not that. How about a table? No. <laughs> you guys are going to be yelling at me like, no, that's not what it's for. I'm just clicking on everything. Don't click on the stairs. That's dumb. <laughs> I don't see what it's for. Maybe it's for the procedural wrecks. I don't know. Not the chair. Oh, that was the last thing. I almost forgot it, too. Let's go home. Quickly. <laughs> uh, home. That was the last thing to, to take a look at before we go. Yes, I haven't done it yet. Let's turn the light off. There we go. I'm sitting down. There's my, there's my number, 0520230. I can't spin around though uh, at all. I could sit down, but I can't move around and look at myself. <laughs> we'll, we'll be able to, we'll be able to look at each other. I can. That one's a little too close to the fire. There we go. I can't move. 
<laughs> Maybe alt? No? Control? No? Um, nope. <laughs> I'm using all the keys I know how to use to move in a game. Uh, no, that's the HUD. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I was hoping as soon as I sat down I would be able to turn around <laughs> and look at myself. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I put in a couple more trees. Isn't that nice? Alright, you guys. We got it. We're starting brand new tomorrow. I cannot wait. I hope that you all have a lovely evening. Please come by tonight for the live stream uh, with Moose Gaming. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now. Yes, I'm grinning ear to ear. <laughs>